pretty hardcore woman who's very straightforward and very matter-of-fact and very business-like. Good work, Claire. We're proud of you. I guess I'll just type partner in right here next to January 1st. He's your uh, kind of an average carpenter kind of guy who uh, you don't know much about him other than he uh, loves his wife more than anything. So all of a sudden, our rather calm and pretty straightforward life is interrupted by this episode from his past. What is it, babe? <laughs> What do you do when everything you know is questioned? When everything you believe is shattered? And when the person you love may not be who you think? Ashley Judd, Morgan Freeman, and Jim Caviezel try to reassemble their lives in the riveting new thriller, High Crimes, directed by Carl Franklin. Yeah, cut it. There it is. God. Obviously, I trust my husband, and then when I find out he has something of a past that I was totally unfamiliar with. You have a warrant for the arrest of someone named Ron Chapman. My husband is Tom Kubik. What the hell is going on? Claire comes to find out he was a member of the Special Forces in Central America. I have the right to know the charges. Murder? Yes. If convicted, he'll get the death penalty. He is blamed for a massacre that occurred there, wrongly accused. I know you didn't kill nine people. We're going to fight him, OK? Together. I choose to defend him. But knowing I will need some expert military information, I am led to a former Marine attorney who is played by Morgan Freeman. Are you Charles W. Grimes? Well, don't tell me you need a lawyer, because you are one. He's an ex-Marine. He was a lawyer in the Marine Corps. Military justice is the justice of military music is the music, Mrs. Kubik. Wake up and smell the napalm. He believes in our case, and so he comes on board as my partner. You play by the rules. You do not fight the system. He has a certain contempt for the system. Objection! You could have gotten us thrown off the case. Well, I said you should follow the rules. I'm the wild card. We had seven eyewitness statements, all ID'ing Chapman as a shooter. Only two of these witnesses for the prosecution are on their list. Now, what happened to the other five? There's doubt, of course, cast upon the uh, whole structure of command in the Marine Corps, in the United States government, and the FBI. Haven't you noticed that you've been unlucky lately? I've already survived you once. The real question is, will you survive me? Then, of course, the you know primary doubt is between her and her husband. Did he do these crimes or not? How do I know who you are? Claire, you're the only one who knows who I am. You're looking for something that's a little bit off the beaten path, something with an edge to it. The other plus, of course, is my chance to work with Ashley again, my adore. Their chemistry was so strong in Kiss the Girls, and I think they really enjoy one another. There's still something that's very playful and buddy-like between the two of them that, you know, works well. It is probably the most unconventional buddy team that we've seen in quite a long time. All right, partner. The pleasure of working with Morgan for me is twofold. One, I just thoroughly enjoy his company, and two, it's really cool to have a bird's eye view on, you know, this masterful actor. I love being a wild card. I think what's really cool about High Crimes in particular is that the story is so invigorated with this very intense love story between those two characters. It's so strong that it would definitely motivate them to try to transcend this very unusual hardship. Tommy? Claire? We can win this! I am not gonna let them do this to you! We are rooting for Ashley, and we are rooting for her relationship with her husband. We want her efforts with her husband to pay off. Yeah, there's a lot of layers to this film. I mean, things aren't always what they seem to be. It's a page turner. It's like Jagged Edge meets the Tom Clancy films. It's like a detective story, you know. 
we're going to be working real hard to solve the puzzle. I think that what's different about it is this genuine synthesis between the drama and the thriller. Claire's trust is tested a couple of times, and I think that the interesting part to play in that was continuing to choose to trust my husband. I swear that I never did this. I didn't want to tell you, because I didn't want you to leave me. <laughs> 